Hey there, it's Robert with BudBells.com and for the warm-up you're going to practice your one-legged deadlift. So the deadlift, uh, one-legged deadlift should look just like the um, two-legged deadlift. So with two legs, if you were going to pick up the weights up um, from your sides, the uh, hip hinge um, and the knee bend look like a swing. So uh, back is rigidly straight, right? Abs abs on, abs contracted, you're going to hinge back at the, at the hips, shin stay perpendicular to the floor like you're wearing ski boots. Um, so you can't, you shouldn't be able to flex your ankles. Imagine you can't flex your ankles like this, right? So you're going to keep your knees right up over your feet, sitting back, come back up. So you want to kind of grease this groove a little bit with no weight um, and with two legs. And then you can go to one leg where you um, Take your opposite hand and reach for your opposite foot. So right hand to your left foot, and the and the the hip hinge and the knee band all stay the same. Even the upper body stays the same. You can do five on each side, five or ten, whatever you find you need to uh, grease the groove with. What I think of is my almost like my inner thighs are uh, connected. So I'm going to squeeze my thighs together, and it keeps the back foot. It prevents the back foot from turning out. Once it starts to turn out, then you lose um, uh, the proper form and balance and everything goes crazy. So, sitting back this way. And I really have to think about internally rotating the, the thighs. Okay, so then with the weight, you're going to um, opposite arm, opposite leg on the weight. Pushing your foot through the floor, which is going to um, fire the glutes and bring your hips underneath you. It's not the act of lifting the bell off the ground with your with your back. Okay, so it's not a back exercise. You're just holding in a rigid um, frame here, like you're in a corset, and you're going to push your foot through the floor to get your your hip to fire, your glutes and your hamstrings to fire so it gets back underneath you, okay? So you're not trying to crane the weight up with your, with your back, like a swing. So if you're swinging and you're lifting the weight up with your back, you're not driving through the, through the ground, you're not using your hips and glutes and your hamstrings, right? So um, this has an uncanny resemblance to the swing, imagine that, okay? So then you're going to use two weights, two weights, one foot. You can use your breath, I highly recommend it. Constantly working on that adjustment of keeping those thighs internally rotated and adductors on, squeezing the adductors, okay? So practice that, play around with that one-legged deadlift um, for a few rounds, all right? So the workout is a uh, two-minute drill. So you're going to do four exercises and you have two minutes to complete it. Every two minutes on the two, the two minute mark, you're going to restart the round, all right? So the four exercises are overhead squats, overhead swings, um, hanging leg raises or knees to elbows, and then six from the floor, opposite arm, opposite leg reach. Um, they're called, you know, opposite arm, opposite leg raise, but I don't like to call it raising because you get out of you know, whack, you want to actually reach. I'll show you that in a second. So, um, 10 rounds of this, so it's a 20 minute workout. Um, have a continuing timer of two minutes going off. So the first one is an overhead squat without any weight. So um, treat this like a abdominal workout. So you want to contract and hold your, your abs and your ribs down while you keep your arms above your head. So um, it, it shouldn't turn into something like this where it's a huge back extension and you're lifting your ribs up, you're going to keep your ribs down by contracting your, your abs, keep them nice and tight, raise your arms, pull your shoulder blades down, and then do your overhead squat. Um, constantly working on those, not 
perfect, not an expert by any means, but it's something that we really need to work on, especially doing a lot of overhead work. Um, one of the biggest back issues is to tilt your ribs and use your back, the arch back like that. It's super bad for your back. All right, so um, you do 10 of those and then 10 overhead swings. Of course, using your abs, arms above your head, okay? Has an uncanny resemblance to an overhead squat. Then you're gonna do um, underhanded um, knees to elbows, hanging, hanging leg raise, hanging uh, knee raise. Okay, five of those. And then six, um, opposite arm, opposite leg reach, um, three on each side. Okay, there's your workout. Enjoy it. We'll see you next time.